So guys, today's DIY project is this shadow box tassel Christmas tree. It's inspired by Poofy Cheeks over on Pinterest. To get started, I'm starting with just some yarn. You can choose any yarn of your liking, a pair of scissors, and I've cut out a square piece of cardboard that I'm gonna use as my template for making my tassels. So guys, what you wanna do is cut a small slit at the bottom of your piece of cardboard, and you're just gonna use that to hold the end of your yarn as you wrap your yarn around the cardboard. Now you guys, I wrapped mine 30 times, and my tassels turned out kind of thick. If you want a thinner tassel, then wrap it a fewer number of times, but you eyeball it and decide for yourself. Right here, I'm cutting out all the pieces that I'm going to need for my tassel. I'm tying it in the middle, And you guys have seen me do tassels before, but I'll walk you through this one just so you can see again. And then I'm gonna flip it over and cut it down the middle. Oops, forgot one. And now I'm just gonna take that and I'm going to fold it over and lay it down on one strip of yarn and I'm going to tie it leaving a little bit of a poof at the top. Now guys, for this DIY project, you're gonna need a total of 15 tassels. Now, I picked up this shadow box from Walmart, and if my memory serves me correctly, I only paid $14.99 for this shadow box. I also have my handy dandy glue gun. We're gonna start by just taking off the back of the shadow box so you can get to the inside. Now guys, right here, I'm just laying my tassels out so that I can space them correctly for the Christmas tree before I actually start gluing them down. Now the way you see me laying them down here is not the way I will lay them when I get ready to glue. I'm just spacing them right now. And now that I see them all laid out, I know that I need to move them up some, and so I'm ready now to lay them down the way they're actually going to be when I get ready to glue them. Now guys, I just went outside and found this stick and this is gonna serve as the trunk of my tree. So I'm gonna glue it down first and then I'll start adding my tassels. So just keep watching. And guys, just FYI, when you're putting your tassels down, of course, the first tassel is gonna go at the top and then as you saw, you'll the next row will have two, then the next row will have three, then four, and then five. And that's how you form your tree. So I'm starting at the bottom with the five, and then I'm gonna work my way up to the top until I get to one. And I'm gonna space my tassels by putting them in between two tassels of the row before it, if that makes sense. You guys, just watch and you'll see.
And now that my tree is all done, I'm going to put it in the shadow box now. Now you guys, in reality, you could leave the glass out of this if you don't want your tassels to be smushed, so to speak. If you want them to just hang freely, just take the glass out and don't use the glass. And you guys, this is how it turned out, and I absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to decorate with it when I start doing my Christmas decorating. And like I said, guys, if you don't want your tassels to be smushed together, <laughs> you can leave the glass off of it, and, um, and it'll be just as nice. And now guys, let's head on over to Cracker Barrel. I wanna show you some really pretty things that they have out for Christmas. So come on, let's go take a look. And you guys, they have something for every themed inspiration that you could imagine. I really love this whimsical, beautiful, colorful Christmas display that they have here. I absolutely, this would be so beautiful in a little girl's room or even just as your family's main Christmas tree. I love the bright colors. I love the whimsical things of it. I love everything about this theme. You guys, look at this cute little pink and teal church so cute you guys look at this with the little yellow trees this is adorable just adorable and you guys look at the little reindeer plates these colors are so beautiful together and you guys look at this Christmas truck with Santa in it and the back of it is filled with a couple of reindeer and a pink Christmas tree you guys, this is amazing. Now we're moving on. Look at this tree, you guys. This one is more in your traditional colors with a little pop of whimsy. I love this cute little gingerbread house, the little gingerbread Christmas tree looking cookie ornament, the candy, and this giant elf pick. Absolutely love this tree as well. This tree is so nostalgic, you guys. Simply beautiful. And you guys, to go along with this theme, look at this beautiful snow globe with Santa and Mrs. Claus in it. The red and white polka dot snow globe, the little elves on the light posts, this beautiful little gingerbread house. And you guys get a look at this beautiful, beautiful snow globe with the little train. You guys, this is so magical. so adorable and if you like a little bit more of the glam then here's a tree for you as well this one is all white and gold we have fur ornaments we have sparkly ornaments we have just about anything with some bling bling to it that you could imagine this tree has it and it is absolutely gorgeous 
And you guys, I am in love with these. Angels, the bottom of the skirts just sparkle. This is so, so nice. Absolutely love this. Like I said, they have something for everyone. And you guys, this nativity is absolutely beautiful with this running fountain. And then next, if you like those natural, neutral tones like I do, this is the tree for you. All of the brown and the gold and the creams. This tree is absolutely beautiful and the filming does not even do it justice. Here's another red and white traditional tree and this hutch. This is all beautiful if you love the traditional red, white, and green Christmas. You guys, I love coming to Cracker Barrel. They have some beautiful ornaments. They have beautiful trees and everything that you could possibly need to make your Christmas tree and your home beautiful for the Christmas season. I love coming here each year and buying new ornaments for my tree. And I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of people don't even think to go to Cracker Barrel for Christmas decorations. If you haven't, then you should definitely check out your local Cracker Barrel. I promise you will not be disappointed. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it put you in the mood for the season of Christmas. And I hope that my outtakes and my intakes <laughs> made you giggle a little. You guys be blessed. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. And you guys don't forget to enjoy all the little things. It's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.